Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Minecraft Agoraphobia. Cheers, Kevin here, and, uh, well, it is dark out. I wonder if we'll be able to sleep. Let's see if we can sleep. Are there monsters nearby? There are not. Seems that we're fine. There were some errors running the class transform, and I'm not entirely sure. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, I got that message when I load this up. Not exactly sure what's going on, but in the last episode, we sent Vinny on a, on a small mining expedition. He dug down, and he came back up, which was awesome. I, he also, what the heck is that? That's, is that... That is new since I, okay. That's new since I, it's like a witch some. I don't think I played when there were still witches. Anyway, or when there were witches, I should say. Okay. Huh. Uh, yeah, gathered some stuff. We have, we have this whole, yeah, we wrote this dig function, which is great. Um, did discover that probably want to start uh, using an external editor for this, though I, I've run into some issues. Uh, I was looking to see if uh, I can spin some stuff up. Quick to, oh yeah, this is not gonna. This is not gonna last, is it? No, it's not. I don't, what? What is that noise? Oh boy. That is an ominous noise. That's a very terrifying noise. That is that is Ender noise, isn't it? But they're not supposed to be inside the house. Who's making noise? Where's the noise coming from? Who knows? Oh, and there's a cow on the tree. Very very cool. Um, yeah. So uh, got us some iron, which we're gonna go ahead and smelt. Um, I've been discovering the, the no, there's there, there's an issue. Oh, good, we have some coal. Wonderful. Um, let's 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 fire this up, right? Um, that yeah, I had an I have I'm having an issue mounting uh the Minecraft save into my Linux share. So, the short of it is, I don't have an easy way to to get that working at the moment. But we'll, well, I'm sure we'll figure that out at some point. What I would like to do right now is I would like to. See about, once we have this, I would like to be able to send the robot out, have the robot go fetch some water. Because I feel like we can put a little farm out back here, you know, by the lava, just to be super safe, um, and start gathering some food. Because we're very hungry. We've not eaten in several episodes, and we are, you know, not not in the best of shape for, for that. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and uh, let's copy the dig file. Uh, dig.lua. We'll copy that over to, I don't know, water.lua. Oh, right, and we get that noise anyway. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and edit water.lua. And there we go. So we take local robot is required robot, and then we say local count is blah. So this is this is the, the stuff. So basically we were saying, all right, until max depth of 30, turn and swing and basically break a whole bunch of stuff. What I would like to do first... Um, Oh, shit, I gotta remember how to do comments in Lua. Just a moment. Lua comments. I do wish, there's it's the case with a lot of full-screen games, but man, if a full-screen game could just not be a jerk face and just stay running when it's not the active window, because I have multiple monitors, but it, it decides to disappear anyway. What is this? Uh, okay, it's two dashes. So first thing that we want to have happen... First thing that we want to have happen is, uh, you know, just get out of the house. Then we want it to, you know, go over to the water and then, you yeah, know, get the water, come back, and then get inside the house. So, these are the steps that we want to take. I'm just going to, let's see, we can do shift delete to delete lines here. Um, robot that down is... Moving down. Yeah. So, yeah, we didn't really need to copy any of this over. I just wanted to have it there as a reference, but that's fine. All right. So, we're going to start this off. We, we're requiring robot. We want to get out of the house. Well, we have to think about... I can, I love how I can just close this and come back, and it'll be in the middle of the editor, which is great. Um, how do we want this guy to be able to get out of the house? I think, basically, what we want to have him do is we want to let him dig down, go that way, and then go back up. And then we'll have we'll build the get back in the house... So that this will be kind of the starting script that we always have. Um, actually, let's go ahead and just save this for right now. And we will manually walk him over. Uh, Lua, robot.left. What? Uh, what? Turn left. Oh, good. I can tab to autocomplete. Good. Uh, and turn left again. There we go. Now, step one, two, three, four, four. Okay. Robot.forward. There, all right. So, from this position, actually, no, we'll have him robot 
dot turn left and turn left. From this position, I would like to get I would like to write a script that will basically get him to go down and out and seal up the hole behind him. So uh, actually, let's just do that first part, right? I mean, so we'll we'll write this we'll write this stuff in parallel. So let's open up water.lua, which is probably just not the right name for this, but whoops, not nah, edit water.lua. And okay, so get out of the house. First thing, say robot dot swing down. And robot dot down. Swing swing down? No, no, just robot dot down. And then robot dot swing down. And then robot dot down. Actually, no, I don't even think we need him to, well, for now we need him to swing down. It doesn't even matter. If, yeah, if he swings down, there's nothing there, then that's fine. We'll go down again. Now, I want robot to place up. And I just want to see if that works. He won't be too far out of range, so we can go ahead and just run that. It's like water, swings down, using a bad tool for that, but that's fine. And he puts the block back up. Hooray! All right, let's dig you out of there. Hello, Vinny. Come back. Uh, Lua. Robot dot up. <laughs> Robot dot up. Robot dot up. Oh, whoops. I was sorry. I was in your way. There you go. All right. And, uh, sure. Robot dot. Oh, no. I have, I have the block now. All right. Um, although, we're going to have to actually worry about in his inventory if we end up doing it like this. But anyway, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Let's write the second half of that script. Da, 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 da. Edit water. So uh, let's write the let's write this. So uh, now let's write the full let's write the we'll write the full thing. So we'll place up now, now. So now he's two blocks below, so he can turn and head out. So robot dot turn left and robot dot turn left and uh, robot dot swing robot dot forward. Robot dot swing. Robot dot forward. How, 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 let's see. So he's there. He turns around. He goes there. And then he's there. And I'm not, um, I mean, maybe we need to have him go down one more. Let's, 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 let's do the, the opposite side of this, right? So imagining he's there, uh, robot needs to go backward. So robot to back. Is it robot to back or robot to backward? I don't remember. Let's look. Robot dot back. Okay, it's just back. Cool. And edit water. So, robot dot back. Um, oh, shoot. I gotta think this through. Okay, so the robot is there. The robot's gonna go back. The robot's gonna go back. Uh, the robot is going to swing up. Uh, robot dot up robot dot up robot dot place down maybe we'll see this may this may be a terrible mistake water digs down goes down to puts that thing up oh no no wait yes good okay placed the wrong thing but that's fine that's fine. And got some dirt. We eventually don't really care about the dirt. Um, let's see. I want to see here. Robot.select, I think. Robot select one. Select two. There we go. Okay. So we can manage inventories that way. So we'll hit dot select to change what it is placing. So. Uh, actually, and I think we could even say like robot.use two. And then, oh no, it won't. I'll support side. What? Never mind. Okay, I don't, I don't have any idea. I think I thought that would put it over here. Whatevs. Whatevs. Everything's cool. Everything's gonna be just fine. Okay, so um, we won't necessarily. We'll 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 not worry so much about the inventory management right now. We'll we'll make sure that it puts the bucket in its tool slot. Oh, we we should be able to have a bucket now, right? Let's build a bucket. Or we'll rat it. Bucket. Wonderful. Now we have a bucket. And Vinny, you get a bucket. So. Um, uh, robot dot select slot one. That'll be just your default slot for stuff for right now. 
And yeah, it's fine to have the dirt there, I guess, for now. Um, so we got this thing to go down and over two squares. And he didn't break anything. Um, no, we need him to go over three squares, though. That's the thing. So we'll go ahead and edit water.lua. And yeah, robot.swing and robot.forward. And then means we need another robot.back here. And let's see. I think that may just let him. I'm not. Sh I'm not sure vertically where he's going to end up. Let's go ahead and have him run that uh, water. Oh man, it's already nighttime. We've been spending way too long on this. Comes out. Where did you? What? Really? That wasn't that. You went down. Oh, we had him go down two squares. Oh, yeah. So maybe. All right. Um, let's edit that again. Let's add more stuff. Now you can see already, this is starting to get very, very clunky. One of the things I would, I would really like to write a thing like robot.move, you know, forward, down, to, you know, left, left, down, or something like that. Um, but I don't want to try and write that in this editor because this editor is a little, a little light for, for, for doing that. So uh, forward, that's fine. Let's go ahead and have uh, robot.swing up and robot.up and robot.swing up, and robot.up. And actually, yeah, if he leaves a little hole there, then I'm not worried. So that means that here he'll have to go down, robot.down. Okay, let's see how that goes. Water. We should probably take away that tool. All right, there we go. We now have a way out of the house, and we clean up after ourselves. So that's that's a start. We're only halfway. We're only 12 minutes into this thing already. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um, I suppose we could also have him place some torches. That'd be cool as well. Um, yes, don't go outside. All right, so we ideally want him to go from here. Now, so, so yeah, I think that'll, that'll do for the moment. Um, actually, I'm going to sleep because I don't want the monsters cluttering up uh, cluttering up the path because then we may end up in trouble. Um, of course, that's not going to necessarily help. Yeah, some of the monsters are still going to stick around. That's fine. Um, if we, I'm trying to see, like a straight line from there. Let's see, okay, if we edit water.lua and then we can say, oh shoot, now I, f I forget the syntax. This is part of why I wanted to look at dig. Uh, let's look at dig because we had the loop in there. We learned how to loop. Yeah, for i equals one comma to three. So for basically th for between one and three. So do this this many times. So we'll we'll want to go forward a bunch of times. And yeah, okay. So get out of the house is done. Go over to the water. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna say robot dot uh, turn left. No, robot dot turn right. Yes. And then uh, for i equals one comma twenty robot dot forward and end I think I think let's double check that yes oh no I need a do for I equals that do okay so that turns him right and then faces that way that means that the comeback needs to be something like robot let's see he's turned to the right uh, so robot dot back. We're basically saying that each state has a fully mirrored version of itself. So uh, for i equals one comma twenty, do robot dot back, end, and then unturn, because then we know that this get inside the house back thing is fine. Um, let's see, so we'll have robot dot turn left. So. When we run this, he should get out of the house, then he should turn to the right, and then he should go 20 squares, and then he should come back. And that's all that he should do. And we're going to see what sort of disaster happens. So, water. Let's watch. We'll see where he ends up. Oh my god, what just happened? What are you doing? Vinny, stop. 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 What are you doing? Nope. Vinny's broken. Vinny. Terminate. Oh, power off. How did that? 
We must have not reversibled something correctly. Shame on us. Probably. All right. Let's look. What? What? Vinny, what did you do? What happened? Some of, one of our scripts must have forgotten to turn him around. So when we started this off, it must have been wrong. All right. Well, let's let's first let's say uh, robot dot turn right, and then one two three. So robot dot forward and two three, and then robot dot turn left and robot dot turn left. And now let's figure out what we just did wrong. Uh, edit water dot lua. So swing down. Da, 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 da. Robot dot turn left. Um, I f I feel like we must have done something incorrect here. Okay, so we have no turning in the getting back. Um, but we do we do have turning there. Shame on us. Yep. This is why it's very important to reversibilize everything. So, we forgot to do this. Uh, turn left. So, the error happened actually the last attempt that we ran. It's just, it only, now that we started, then he just, just decided to try and go the other way. So, okay. Now that that's fixed, let's go ahead and try it again. Don't do that to us, Vinny. Vinny's gone. He should go out over here. There we go. Yeah, go Vinny. And we'll watch and we'll see. Maybe is 20, is 20 squares a good, is that good? That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's actually probably pretty close to what we need. So, now we should just be able to add a few more steps, I think. Um, and yeah, okay, now he's facing the right way, so if we were to do this again, it'd be fine. Let's edit water.lua. And, let's see. So, get the water is going to be pretty simple, I think. Um, no, it's it's not. Let me see. I'm going to real quick check the robot API. Actually, you guys can come with. Um, we can take a look at the robot API. Not the not this thing where I was looking for comments. The robot API. The robot API. We want to s s figure out how to select a tool. Select. Give an inventory slot. Returns to the inventory slot. Um, let's see. Use. Robot detect. I want to basically swap the tool. Um, use item currently in tool slot. Let's let ah come on tool. Oh, robot wall. Da, da, da. Tool. New tool equipped. Tool cannot be damaged. Uh, okay. Okay. Never mind. I don't know. We'll go back to whoops. We'll go back to the game. But of course the game is minimized. There we go. Okay. Um. So. Oh wait, the game was minimized. What is that? Is that weird. Okay. Anyway. Um. Yeah. We'll put this in its tool slot. Right. Then it'll be fine. It'll try and dig with the bucket, but that would be fine as well. Um, okay, so we have him walking forward. I'm going to go ahead and say robot dot turn. Uh, le let's see. Yes, turn left. And robot, let's see, four. I equals I comma four. Do robot dot forward. And end. And robot oops, dot down. Now, of course, we've got to mirror that. So we turned left, then we went forward. So we basically just do this in reverse order. So coming back is robot dot up. And then for i equals i comma, oh, oh, not i comma four, one comma four. That would have been sad. i equals one comma four. Do robot dot back. And we added something else, didn't we? Yes, robot.turn right. Well, we added robot to turn right. Okay, robot.turn right. All right. I'm guessing that's probably that maybe will put us in the right place. Um, get the water. Get the water. I'm just gonna say, um Oh shoot. What is it? So it's robot.swing use Item is used. Yeah, no, use so robot.use is the right is the right thing. Um I'm gonna try that and see what happens. All right. Well let's let's just double check real quick and make sure that it doesn't do anything crazy if I try robot.use. What oh not user. Robot.use. Alright. So it doesn't it doesn't fail. If it doesn't work, that's fine. Um we're just 
I'm not even sure it'll end up in the right place. So we will have to see what happens. But I'm hoping maybe that's the right depth. How, how are you doing, bud? All right, so we, we walk out 20 paces. We turn. Go four in. You go down by one. Nope, that was not quite enough. We should try, I think, let's, let's try going down by two more. And, of course, going back up by two more. And I wonder, is there durability damage on the on the on the bucket? I'm curious. No, it doesn't seem so. Okay, but that looked very very promising. Of course, it's hard to tell exactly where the stuff is at. All right, so uh, robot back, um, robot dot up, and robot dot up. Um, put this here. Robot dot down and robot dot down. All right. Try again. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, man. I do like that, that he cleans up after himself. Leaves our house nice and safe. It's, got his, it's like a little doggy door. A little doggy door for our robot. Wonderful. Okay. Let's see. Three, four. Down two. Um, That maybe was too low. Maybe? I can't tell. I have no idea. <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! There's water! We got freaking water! That's awesome! Wonderful! Look at what you got! Oh, you're a good robot, aren't you? That's absolutely fantastic. Now we can use that water to start building a farm. But, of course, that will have to take place in the next episode. I'm pretty excited about this. We got this going, and it doesn't look like there was any permanent damage to the stream, so we can probably maybe run that same script again. In fact, um... Here, I'll tell you what. Let's uh, let's let's give you a place to drop. No, not there, actually. No, because that'll just ruin the tunnel ruins. Um, I don't know. Here, we'll have you dump the water over there, and then we'll see if uh, you can fetch just one more fetch fetch one more pail. Because if that happened to be a renewable square, you have to, where there are two full squares between it, and you can just continue to refill from there, that'd be really great news. We can just collect because we you need two. Sources two blocks of water to have renewable water. So let's uh, Lua, and we'll just go robot dot forward, and robot dot forward, and robot dot turn left, uh, right. Wow. And robot dot forward, and robot dot use down, use down. Yeah. What? No. Oh no! How? Come on. Robot dot use. No, won't dump out the water. Hmm. Robot. Drain. Nope, that's a, that's a whole other thing. That's if the robot has its own internal tank, which ours does not. Oh, you know, actually, I don't I don't need the robot to do that. What am I thinking? Robot, give me this. I can do that myself. We're inside the freaking house. I, this is not a problem. Uh, let's go ahead and just dump that out. There we go. Now, robot, you can have this back. You're welcome. And uh, robot dot... Turn right. Uh, sure. That way, we'll have you go forward. Robot dot forward twice. Oh, pff. yep. Case sensitivity. And robot dot turn right. And forward. And no, 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 no. Robot dot back. Turn right. Okay, so you're facing me, so we can. Whoop. Yep. Fine. Just got my little watering hole. I love it. All right, and uh, we'll go ahead and say water again. Oh, whoops, we're still in Lua. All right, water. Go fetch some water with the bucket. And I will observe. If we get a second one, that'll be really awesome. If not, it's probably just like, we'll add one more step forward. Um, but once that's the case, we can build a nice renewable stream of water, which will be very, very exciting. Did you get anything? Did you get, I can't tell. I like the light on it. Oh, it looks like you did. Aha, wonderful. Excellent job, Vinny. Well done. Well done indeed. <clears throat> Absolutely fantastic. So, um, in the next episode, I'm going to figure out exactly how we can start working with uh, kind of external editors because we want to, um, we're going to want to start building a little uh, a little farm out here. We definitely want to grab, uh, we're going to have them try and chop down a few trees so that we get some, uh, uh, sprucelings, saplings, so that we can start planting some trees as well, because I ended up clearing out a bunch of the stuff while we were building the house, and uh, it's important to have some of those around. So, I'm looking here. We'll have to see. 
This is going to be, I'm not entirely, let's see. So probably to here and then one over and then all the way down, I think, if I'm, if I'm looking at that correctly. But yes, that will all have to take place in the next episode. So I will hope to see you then. Cheers. <laughs>